tell him he's trespassing, and they take care of trespassers by killing them. A raptor strikes, but the T-Rexes jump in and fight them. Butch headbutts a raptor, sending him flying into the herd, who stampedes straight toward Arlo. Arlo takes off. Running with Spot, and the T-Rexes try to keep up with the herd. A raptor jumps on Nash, and they fight, with the raptor pinning Nash down. Just as he is about to strike, Ramsey hits him with a tail whip, sending him flying away. Arlo runs behind a boulder to escape the stampede, but the raptors can smell him nearby. Butch charges in, but he gets pinned to the ground by two raptors. Summoning his courage, Arlo charges in and headbutts a raptor away, and Butch grabs the other by the tail and flings her off. Arlo joins the T-Rexes in driving the herd to a safer place. That night, Arlo, Spot and the T-Rexes gather around a campfire. Arlo sees a cut on his forearm, and Ramsey tells him that it will leave a good scar. Nash shows a scar on his calf, and says he got it fighting 15 stegosauruses. Ramsey says that once he was trapped with his tail stuck under a rock and a herd of longhorns coming straight at him, so he had to gnaw his tail off. He shows the stub where his tail was. Arlo asks Butch how he got his scar, and he says he was taking a drink from a pond, when crocodiles jumped out of the water and bit his face. He bit one crocodile in half, tail whipped another one, and then drowned a third one in his blood. Then he opens his mouth and shows off a crocodile tooth lodged in his jaw. Arlo says that his papa wasn't scared of anything and that he's done being scared. Butch tells him that he was scared when the crocodiles attacked him, and that fear can make you find out what you're made of. Just then, the first snow falls, and Arlo tells them he needs to get home, to prepare the food for winter. The next morning, the T-Rexes heard the longhorns on, and when a group splits off, Arlo runs ahead and snaps off a tree with his tail to force them back. Going over a slope, Arlo sees the peaks of Clotith Mountain, and the T-Rexes say goodbye to him. When Arlo gets close to home, he lets out a happy howl, and Spot joins him. Suddenly, they hear another person howl back. Arlo can't stand the thought of losing Spot, so he scoops Spot up and walks back to the river. A storm comes in, and Arlo's feet get stuck in the mud. Looking up, he sees the pterodactyls flying around. They fly in and attack Arlo with their wings, and Thunderclap snatches up Spot in his talons. The other two turn to Arlo, who tries to back away but he loses his balance in the mud and falls into brambles below. He tries to get free, but the brambles tighten around him. Unable to get through to Arlo, the pterodactyls fly after Thunderclap and Spot. Arlo tries one more time to free himself, but a rock comes loose and hits him in the head, knocking him unconscious. When he comes to, he sees someone chopping the brambles in half, and realizes it's Papa. He tells Arlo they have to go home, but Arlo wants to save Spot. Papa keeps walking forward and Arlo yells at him to stop. Then he sees that Papa isn't leaving any footprints. Arlo tells Papa that he has to go home, but Arlo wants to save Spot. Papa keeps walking forward, and Arlo yells at him to stop. Then he sees that Papa isn't leaving any footprints. Arlo tells Papa that he has to go save Spot, because he loves him. Papa says he knew Arlo had it in him, and then fades away into the rain. Arlo is still tangled in the brambles, but with renewed determination, he breaks them one by one and he runs after Spot. Arlo climbs up the mountain and howls for Spot, and he hears Spot howl back. He sees Spot inside a hollow tree, surrounded by pterodactyls. They whack the tree, trying to get Spot out. Arlo charges in and headbutts a pterodactyl into the river. Thunderclap and the others lift Arlo into the air, and Spot howls from the tree. Thunderclap flies down to Spot, who goes deeper into the tree. Still in the air, Arlo whacks a tree and makes it fall, landing on the pterodactyls. Arlo falls to the ground, and another pterodactyl flies toward him. Arlo grabs a tree with his tail and flings it into the pterodactyl, knocking it into the water. Arlo sees Thunderclap still attacking Spot, so he runs up and lets out a loud roar, scaring Thunderclap away. A flash flood approaches, and the tree with Spot inside gets swept away. Arlo tries to save him, but he can't reach far enough. The flood causes debris to fall, knocking Arlo into the river. Struggling to swim, he sees Spot unconscious inside the sinking tree. Arlo swims to him, hearing a waterfall ahead. When he reaches Spot, he curls himself around Spot and they both go over the edge. At the bottom, Arlo pulls Spot out of the water, and Spot opens his eyes. Arlo puts his head down and breathes a sigh of relief. The next day, they resume walking home, when they hear a human man howl. They see a woman and two children join him on the hill. Arlo slowly approaches, and Spot jumps off his back. The father sniffs Spot and rubs his hair, 
and the family gathers around him. Spot jumps on Arlo's back, ready to keep going, but Arlo pushes him off. Arlo draws a circle on the ground around all of them, and Spot understands. Arlo hugs Spot and says goodbye. Arlo walks the rest of the way alone, seeing the farm in the distance with the harvest still on the ground. Mama, Buck and Libby were tired, but still working. Mama looks up and sees Arlo walking toward her. Arlo. She cries, and all of them run up and hug him. At the top of the silo, Arlo's mud footprint stands right beside Papa's. Arlo had done something big for something bigger than himself, and he was home. Thanks you for watching like and subscribe for more videos like this.